when they arrive on Oregai 6, she'll be responsible for setting up the environment and growing things so that they have food to eat. And, um, and then while, while they're in space, of course, she's in charge of all of the, the equipment and gear and preparing everything for when they get there. I think at the beginning of the film, she doesn't really, she, she's capable and she's smart and she's good at her job, but I don't think she fancies herself any kind of, you know, um, uh, heroic or particularly tough uh, figure, you know. Um, but it just so happens as, as the events of the film unfold, she's able to uh, function well and think clearly in those moments of crisis. Um, and I think that that's much sort of that was easier for me to relate to or understand than 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 just this idea that she's just born cool and tough and ready for battle. You know, it, that, that, that I don't really I don't know anybody like that. The crew goes about trying to repair uh, the ship, and um, and while they're doing that, um, they receive a transmission. Um, and um, and that when they discover the location that the transmission is coming from, they realize there's a, a planet much more suited to uh, human life than the place they're, they're trying to get to, and it's a lot closer by, so most of the crew and the new captain decide to go check it out. Um, I don't think that's a very good idea, but, but I'm outnumbered. As we're exploring the planet, people start to get sick, and then from that moment on, it kind of the rest of the film just unfolds at a, a crazy clip, and um, there's no real time to process much of what's going on. Everybody um, is forced into action. Um, and uh, and it's pretty scary. It is so fascinating to to play scenes with um, someone who's playing a synthetic. Uh, it's it's really uh, I feel a little bit like I'm getting to time travel to uh, maybe three generations ahead of of my own. Um, maybe it's less. Maybe it's more. I don't know. But uh, but it is coming. Uh, you know, and, and, and AI, thinking AIs are being developed now. Um, and so it really feels like I'm getting this kind of preview. Um, and it's chilling and bizarre and funny and weird. And, uh, and obviously that's such a testament to, to Michael's work as an actor that I'm so convinced by what he's doing. Like the original Alien, I think there's a, a relentlessness to the, uh, the the chaos and the anxiety in this film. And you know, once once it gets going, it it doesn't really it doesn't really stop until the end. Um, and uh, and there's yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think you know, he wanted to make a. He wanted to make another scary picture, and he wanted it to be gory, and it is. Um, so I think, I think it's going to freak people out. Hi, Lisa. Here with some interesting movie extras facts for you. One of the earliest animation techniques was stop motion. It was first used in the late 1890s. Notable uses of stop motion include King Kong from 1933 and the skeleton skirmish in Jason and the Argonauts from 1963. Now, Toy Story, the first feature-length animated film to be created with CGI, generated 1,000 gigabytes of data and required 800,000 machine hours of editing. Are you an animation movie fan? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.